Hello everyone, Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to Corp Farms, and as you can see, that snow kept going for quite a long time. We have got a very deep amount of snow here. You can see a little bit of heat through this uh, fermenting grass has meant that uh, it's melted the snow here, but look how deep that is. It is seriously deep. So, um, we've got a bit of a challenge on our hands here. Not sure how we're going to do it yet, but we've got to feed the cows. And we can't get the vehicles to them at the moment. The yard is very, very full of snow. You can see here the heat from the barns and from the animals has melted this, this section. But over here, we've got a bit of an issue. We can't get the feeder box out. We can't get to the bales. We've got a few things that we need to get sorted and we ain't going to be able to do them. Of course, I think field work today is completely out of the question. Um, everything will be frozen under the ground, uh, and that is reflected in the list of contracts we've got at the moment. There we go. A grand total of zero contracts. So, um, yes, as to be expected with the weather. So, um, I guess it's going to leave us to kind of get on with jobs. We need to clear this yard, though. Um... The snowplows have been and they've done the roads, but obviously, private ground here, they've left us to it. So, um, I think what we'll do is try and clear some of the snow out of the way, just enough to be able to get one, uh, the mixer down to where the bales are down there and past the uh, sheds here to uh, get to the cows to get them fed. Um, we could put salt down, but actually, I think we'll... Uh, Give our silage blade a go. I think that should work. So we'll uh, give that a run and see what happens. The silage is doing well here. There we go. 88% fermented already. Which suggests that my bales sitting in my field back at the, back at the contractor's yard are probably good to uh, be sold as well by now. But again, we might have the issue. We might not be able to get to them. So uh, we'll have a wander down though. And we'll see what's happening down there in a little while but first and foremost I think it's important that we get these cows fed right so we'll roll around here very handy having this uh, silage blade actually it saves us having to go and hire anything which is good so let's get this up a little bit now I'm going to I think push some snow out of the way and down to that little space down there this is going to come out the sides actually so I need to be a little bit smart about how I do this might need to do it a few times crikey there is a lot of snow there may be too much here we may need a snow blower my, my plan was to shift it like so but I think we might be up against it here. Let's let's try a little bit more. Well, that worked. Maybe we need a snow plow rather than this. This is this is okay. It's not really what it was designed for, so it doesn't have the ability to spill out of the sides like a like a snow plow does. So that might be our problem. It it is kind of working, but I'm not sure if it's the most effective way of doing it. I was trying to get it done without having to spend any more money, um, but. I think we might invest in a snowplow. I, I, a snowplower's snow blower's probably not appropriate. Oh, well, we could get one of those as well and see which is best. We could do some tests. But yes, no, this is um, this is getting stuck on the blade at the front and not pushing it to the sides. So I think we'll try a different option. See, it's just creating mounds as well. So I've got an idea. Let's go and see if we can find one that connects to the front of a tractor. We can get one of the tractors out here. They'll run nicely. We'll maybe run down to the shop and lease one of those for a day or so. You never know. There might be other farmers that need our help as well. So, um, for now, let's disconnect that and leave it in the yard. Right, let's head off down to the store. Um, we are running a little bit low on funds at the moment. You can see we're down to 58,000 in the bank. Um, ideally, we'd like a little bit more than that in there. Now, 
although the grit has been down here um, it could have done with going a little bit wider so I'm going to see if we can get a plough we might actually do a little bit of extra pushing on the road there just make it a little bit more spacious but let's go and see what they've got at the shop and see what's best to bring back I might bring back a snowplow and a blower as well just for a bit of fun Alright, here we go. Look at the frost on the grass too. It's uh, very, very chilly. Alright, let's see what they've got for us. So, there we go. We've got the Samaz uh, 3.2, the 3.3 metre and the snow blower it's just 2.5 meters um i'm definitely going to take the 3.3 get through a lot more stuff it's got a three point hitch so we can throw it straight onto the front of the tractor um again let's lease this that's a little bit of cash 357 but i think we'll get rid of it at the end of the day or when the snow goes 484 is worthwhile exercise i'm telling you we'll take both of those and uh get them hitched up and get some work done. In the absence of anything else to do, we'll get this sorted. Right, for the purposes of going home, I am going to put the blower on the back. We'll flip that round later, and I'll tell you why. Because, like I said, I'd quite like to clear those lanes on the way back to the farm. And we should be able to shift the angle of this slightly, so we can push everything to one side of the road, and then maybe do the same with the other side of the road but for now let's just get it hooked up and uh, see where we go so there you go we can adjust the angle of it this way and we can do the same with the other side so um, what I think I might do is set it to push into one side of the hedge and then we'll turn around and come back and do it the other way that looks not bad we can go a little bit further actually There you go. Okay. Let's head home. Right, here we are back at the junction. Let's see if we can do something about the snow at the edge of the roads here. Because it is going to cause us a few issues if we're not careful. So... Let's see what happens here. Let's lower it down. We've already set it. We've already set it at the shop, so... There we go. We are pushing it away. Probably onto the other side of the road here. But um, it's working a little bit. Yes, it's pushing it through the hedge there, into the field. That's good. We are putting some on the other side of the road as well. I'm well aware of that. We might have to come back and get that. I have to turn around and go back the other way. But it's certainly flattening it out anyway. See what we're doing there? There is some snow on the road, but you can see it all piling up in the field there. So that's an excellent job. Just what I wanted it to do. Probably clear the driveway for Charles as well at some point. Do the dutiful, uh, dutiful neighbour and well, he's our boss, isn't he? So there we go. Nice big pile in the corner there. Try and shift a little bit more if we can. We run over it a few times. It may pick up these last little bits. There we go. There's a little bit on the, a little bit on the ground there. That's not going to, uh, not going to impact the traffic anymore. There we go. We need to be careful. We're not blocking the drive here. I've pushed it over to where the sign is at the moment. You can see that. So it should be all right there. Right. I'm tempted to run back the way we've just come. Right, we've just run back along the road here. I know we're blocking Valley View Stores entrance here. We'll need to come back and sort that in a little minute. 
But as you can see, we've got a much wider road now compared to what was there before. Um, so we'll keep going down here. And make sure we try and get as much of this off the road as possible. Um, if I'm being honest, not many people are coming down here at the moment. But if we can let people get to Valley View. And we can get in and out of the yard. That's going to be a huge help. So I will go and clear Valley View's uh, driveways as well in a minute. But as you can see, we've got plenty more width on the road here by running the snowplow. Now we do have the uh, the blower as well. And we may switch to that just to tidy up these last little bits of the road if we want to. But actually the priority might be using the blower in the yard. As you can remember, we just about blocked the yard there, so... But actually we may need to use it here, look. We, uh... We don't want to push that onto the main road there. So, challenges galore here. Look what I want to do. I want to be able to rotate the pipe. And look what it's doing. It's opening my doors on my tractor. Which is very frustrating, because that is not what I want it to do. Um, and I can't override it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this off. And I've bought the old TW down, because it doesn't have that issue. So we'll pop this back on the snowplow. And we are going to use the TW for the snowblower. There we go. A little bit disappointing, because I was enjoying using that case, but... I'm pretty confident this will work and we'll get the result we want because we've got to clear this road pretty quickly or we'll get in trouble with the council for blocking roads. But that is what I wanted to do, but clashing um, clashing keybinds have stopped us, which is very annoying. So, now though, look at that. Now we are talking and we're blasting it far enough that I reckon we can get this across the road without rotating the uh, rotating the pipe. Let's see what happens. Oh, we have managed to spray it on the other side of the road, but other than that, it's working brilliantly. Ah, it's not on the other side of the road, really. We'll get away with that. So, let's push on up here and clear this the best we can. This is way better than the plough. Now, there's going to be points where the plough is way more sensible. But at the moment, this is the job for us. Right, we're at Valley View now. What we're going to do is we're going to spin the pipe around, which means that we can then get rid of the snow that's blocking the store entrance. And look at that, we're blowing it right up into the air and over into the field where it's not going to interfere with anybody coming in and out of the store. We've got two gates to do this at, so, you know, we're doing the uh, neighbourly thing. Right, let's adjust down the, uh, the spout so we're not filling Charles's yard with the snow. Which blow it more into the hedge again. There we go. Perfect. In fact, that's not very good, is it? That's a bit better. He might just have to get some snow in his uh, garden. We'll clear this corner as well. This is a bit of a death trap. There we go. And as for this... Charles is going to have to make a decision what he wants. An empty yard or um, a full garden? We're going with empty yard at the moment. Well, let's spin this round again. We're going to be here all day.
right, let's park that up there. Um, a little bit nervous that uh, we've completely sprayed Charles's uh, pride and joy in snow and probably a load of grit and gravel and stones from there. Um, it looks all right, though. I hope he wasn't watching out of his window. Um, we are now going to go and get the case with the plough on. I think the plough is going to work better in the yard for a lot of the yard, and then we'll, uh, if we need to tidy any bits up with the blower, we will. But um, what a great job that's done. Look at that. Fantastic. Right, heading up here now. Look at that. A lot easier to get up here now. Fantastic job with the blower and the plough. They both did a cracking job. Um, but yeah, we've uh, got a bit of freedom now. Managing to spread some stuff back on the road, though. That was not the cleverest thing I've ever done. Okay. We're in, though. Let's see how we get on shifting some of this snow about. We've um, piled some stuff up down there, but the challenge is we've still got to get the wheel loader out and the trailer in. So I think a mixture of the blower and the uh, snowplow will sort us out here. We're just going to blast this over that wall there and try and get it into the field behind. Um, and it, we may even use this space here. Um, we might have to sacrifice the... Uh, the pickup head up for a little while. Let's see how far this goes. Okay, this is getting rid of That's good. That's exactly where I wanted it to go. Up into the sky. So this means we might be able to get the wheel loader out. So here's the plan with some of the stuff that we've got in front of, like, the shed and the silage clamp. We're actually going to blow it in front of us, and as we move toward it, it will pick it back up and blow it further down. Probably lift it up a little bit. It does mean we're going to have to maybe run over some stuff a few more times, but uh, look at the way it's moving all out of the way down here, which is where we want it to be. Right, let's throw it back into a little time lapse for a minute or so while we sort this out. Well, there we go. That is one clear yard. Um, I did notice that you may have seen it with the uh, time lapse. But actually, if you blow this right up into the air, it just dissolves into the air. It goes to such a fine dust that uh, it just hangs in the air and turns back to water. So we managed to uh, do that without uh, having to create huge piles of snow everywhere. So um, just get a little bit more of this out of the way to allow the... Uh, the forage uh, wagon to turn at the end and come back um, but uh, I'm very very pleased with the way that's gone um, it has taken a while and like I said not a lot going on in this episode so if you're stuck with us thank you very much for that um, but as soon as the snow is away we can go back to some farming now um, it hasn't felt like much of a contract series the last couple of episodes because we have been working on the farm here. Uh, that has been due to the fact of the time of the year it is. There isn't much going on from a contracting perspective. We might pick up a few uh, ploughing or cultivating contracts over the next month or so, but it's really going to be spring before the action kicks back in in earnest. So um, 
having the farm here and having a few things to keep us occupied has not been a bad thing. Uh, but I can't wait to get back to contracting. Actually, when we do get to the new year, um, Davy's going to run this. He's going to make sure that the carers are fed and uh, looked after. And uh, we are going to um, leave him to it to an extent. We'll obviously give him a little bit of help when he needs it. And obviously we'll pick up contracts from Charles anyway for the farm. That's why he's using us. He's got the best of both worlds here. There we go. Getting a little bit stuck on some of the uneven ground there. But I think that is us. Fantastic. What a job. Those pieces of equipment I've never used before. But I'm highly, highly impressed with them. Right. For now, we're just going to leave them there out of the way. Let's get these cows topped up with food. There we go. In the green for everything here now. There's the silage bale gone. Okay, job done. Let's get this back in the shed. Out of the way. And we'll get the silage unloaded. There we go, 20,000 litres in there, 90% full. But interestingly, last time we did it with the other mix, we got 95%. I wonder if the... the uh, hay bales are slightly bigger than silage bales let's find our trigger there it is and there was tmr again not forage and this will keep the cows going for a little bit longer now which is good we've just got to keep on top of it really like i said when davy's in charge davy will manage this but for now we're giving him we're giving him a bit of a helping hand because we've got nothing better to do right there we go We'll check the animal dialogue in just a sec, but let's reverse this into here. Park it up. There we go. There we go, just over half full. We could go again and fill it up a little bit more. We're not going to bother just now. Uh, we'll save that for another day, but... Um, good amount of food in there for them. That'll keep them going for a little bit. Right, before we return the snowplough equipment, let's head down to the contractor's yard. See what's going on down there? So it's safe to say the snow is as deep here. The horses, a little bit annoyed, I think, that they can't get to their, uh, their grass, but they have got food and straw and some oats in here as well to keep them going, so they're not too bad. Davy's looking after them. Oh, look, he's coming over to say hello to us. Yes, they're a little bit frustrated though, aren't they? Um, let's check our bales. These will be ready. There's absolutely no point in me trying to load these now with the snow in the field, but uh, um, we will. Oh, still 98% actually. That's a surprise. They have taken an age. <laughs> Haven't they? They have taken an absolute age to ferment. So yeah, we'll leave those until the snow's melted. There's absolutely no point in trying to uh, shift them, just make life difficult for ourselves. As for the shed, it's looking pretty sparse, isn't it? That's what happens when all the equipment ends up at the other farm. Uh, but we will sort that out again in the new year. Lots to still sort out here um, and lots going on. Fingers crossed we'll get the snow melted and we can get back to some contracts in the next episode. But for now, from me, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.